Have you ever heard of coconut butter or coconut manna? Well, stay tuned because I'm going to go over what exactly it is and how easy it is to make. Hi, my name is Katrina. Welcome to the Organics channel, where we meet in the kitchen every week to create healthy and delicious recipes together that hopefully keep you inspired to be cooking at home for yourself and those you love. Today, we're going to be making coconut butter or sometimes called coconut manna. What is coconut butter or coconut manna? It is simply coconut meat that is ground up into a smooth, creamy, butter-like consistency. So just like peanut butter is made out of ground peanuts, almond butter is made out of ground almonds, coconut butter is made out of ground up coconut meat. What is the difference between coconut oil and coconut butter, you might wonder? Well, coconut oil is just that. It's coconut meat that's been processed or pressured to separate the oil from the coconut meat. And then coconut oil is a wonderful dairy-free option for baking instead of using butter. Or you could use it instead of olive oil or avocado oil. Coconut butter, on the other hand, includes the oil and the fiber from the coconut meat. And you can use it as a spread or as a substitute for any other nut butter in recipes. And it definitely has a stronger coconut flavor than coconut oil. Here's the great news. It's super easy to make, and it's so much more cost-effective than buying it already pre-made in the store. You either need a food processor or a high-speed blender. Both should work great. Let's begin by adding 16 ounces of fine shredded unsweetened coconut to either your blender or food processor. If using a blender, you will need to help push the coconut down from the sides. If using a processor, you will want to stop a few times and scrape down the sides. This process takes anywhere from five to 10 minutes. If your coconut is just not coming together, or if you want a creamier consistency, add in one tablespoon of coconut oil. That is it. Your coconut butter is ready. So it's a great time to give it a taste right now. And if you want to jazz it up a little bit, I've got some optional ingredients that you can add. Just be sure to add them after you've reached that creamy consistency. So the first one is 1 8 a teaspoon of either pink Himalayan or sea salt, just for a little bit of saltiness. One teaspoon of pure maple syrup or your preferred sweetener. So stevia could definitely work here as well. One to two scoops of our clean source collagens powder for a little bit of digestive, skin, hair, nails, teeth, and joint support. The last optional ingredient would be one to two drops of your favorite food grade organic essential oil. Peppermint oil, orange, lemon, grapefruit, oh my goodness, all of those would be so good. Blend up your optional ingredients if you're using. Our coconut butter is ready to give a taste. A couple of ways that you can serve this up, again, like I said before, you can spread it on toast or bread. You could also use it as a drizzle on top of any baked goods or muffins. You could turn it into a frosting like we did last week with our vegan pumpkin cupcakes. You can eat it right out of the jar with a spoon. You could add a little bit of cinnamon or cacao powder, just a little bit of sweetness. And a little of this goes a really long way. So it's very hearty, it's very filling. And I'm excited to give it a try because I've never actually added those optional ingredients when I've made it before. So let's give it a taste. If you love coconut, you will love this. I love just that little bit of salt that we added and just a little bit of sweetness really brought this coconut butter to life. But it's really good without doing that as well. 
This is so easy, so simple. If you've never tried coconut butter before, I definitely recommend giving it a try. Thanks for joining me today. I hope that you and yours are well and healthy. Take great care of yourself this week and reach out if you have any questions and I'll see you next week in the kitchen. Bye-bye.